hey, 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 go ahead and pull out um, the notes that say cell structures part two. Make sure you have a pen and highlighter and you're taking additional notes and writing down the things that I write down and extra things. You take as many notes as you can. The idea is to learn um, this outline so that tomorrow in class we can discuss it and do activities with it. Okay, so the first thing is um, three main parts to a eukaryotic cell. And remember, eukaryotes are um, plants, animal, fungi, everything except bacteria. Okay, and so remember, um, we said that eukaryotes are more complex on last night's video. Okay, so three main parts. You've got, that's a plant. This is a, it's an animal cell. Okay, you've got a cell membrane, a nucleus, and then just the extra stuff is the cytoplasm. Okay, so let's start with the um, cell membrane. That's the outside. Now, some cells have a cell wall on the outside of the cell membrane. But all cells have a cell membrane. So all cells have a cell membrane. And that's going to allow certain food or water in and certain waste out. The nucleus that's where the DNA is. See the purple right there? That's where the DNA is. And then the cytoplasm is the extra jelly-like substance that holds the organelles in place. Um, so go ahead and draw this out beside uh, that first part on your note. So you have the cell membrane. You have the nucleus, and then you have the cytoplasm. And you want to know cytoplasm could also be called cytosol. So you want to be able to recognize either one of those for your test. Okay, so that's your three main parts of the eukaryote. Now remember back eukaryotes have a nucleus. Prokaryotes, which are bacteria only, they don't have a nucleus. So plants and animals and fungi and uh, all other living organisms except bacteria, they have a nucleus. So now we're going to kind of zoom in and look at just the nucleus. And we already said that's where the DNA is, right? This acts as a control center because it has the DNA inside of it. And I want you to think of DNA, it says million dollar blueprint or whatever on your outline, but I want you to think of DNA as the recipe for how to make proteins. So write that in. DNA is the recipe for how to make proteins. It's the instructions. How do you do it? You, you put this with this, with this, with this, and that makes the protein, right? We'll learn way more about that throughout the year. But the nucleus holds the DNA. And outside the nucleus, you'll see this outer layer. That's your nuclear envelope. And it acts as a, a vault, per se. It lets some things inside the nucleus and some things outside the nucleus, right? It is a double membrane, so that double means two, right, of phospholipids. A phospholipid is just a phosphate and a lipid. We're going to learn more about that. It contains pores. So can, you can actually, if you look really closely, you can actually see the little pores in the video. So those are like little doors that are tunnels that allow um, certain substances inside the nucleus. Composed of proteins for molecules to travel through, such as nucleotides. That's what, that's DNA. Nucleotides. Nucleotides is what makes up DNA. You want to write that in. From our food um, to some of RNA can come in and out. DNA on D, it says it's the million dollar blueprint. But we already know. What is it? What is DNA? It's the recipe of how to make proteins. It's the blueprint for proteins. And there's two different stages. There's chromatin, which looks like, let's go with purple, looks like spaghetti and meatballs, just all jumbled up. 
chromatin is loose DNA. Looks like spaghetti and meatballs. Uh, a cell can move the DNA around, and it, so it can it's loose. It can find a certain gene. If you want a certain gene, genes are segments of DNA, just a little piece, you can find it. A chromosome are going to be tightly coiled. It's the same thing, but it's tightly coiled, just like that. And then you'll see here the nucleolus, which is on the inside right there. Whoops. That's where the RNA is. That's where the um, DNA would make the RNA. And so the site of RNA synthesis means make. You make a cheap copy of your DNA, and we call that RNA. Um, lots of these structures are present during repair. It is also responsible for helping make ribosomes. So the nucleolus actually makes the ribosomes, which we're going to discuss next. And it makes the mRNA and other types of RNA. So big picture, I want you to know that the nucleolus right here, it is going to make the RNA, make RNA, and ribosomes. But ribosomes are actually made up of RNA. So ribosomes are RNA mixed up together. Okay, so let's look at just the whole nucleus real quick. So you got your nucleus, which has DNA inside it. Hey, better yet, let's do this. Okay, so big picture. This is what I want you to know so far. Got your nucleus. And it's got DNA inside it, either chromatin or chromosomes. Chromatin all the time, chromosomes just when the cell is dividing. So most of the time, it's chromatin. So you want to take a second, because those words look alike. Chromatin, loosely coiled. Chromosomes, tightly coiled. And also, it's got the nucleolus. Let's try to liven it up a little. There we go. And that's where RNA is going to be made, right? And this is DNA. Okay, good. Hopefully you have all that now. Let's look at just the ribosome. Okay, the ribosome, it looks like a hamburger bun to me. It's got a large subunit. Whoops. It's got a large subunit here and a small subunit. So draw a ribosome out beside on your paper and label it. Large subunit small subunit. These are particles. They're not really organelles. They're too small. Cellular particles made up of RNA. So they have, they're made up of RNA. So the hamburger bun is made of RNA. And specifically our RNA, ribosomal RNA, because there's different kinds of RNA. And you probably remember RNA from seventh grade. Um, this is where proteins are made, where it says protein synthesis. Proteins are made. So you definitely want to highlight that word. Protein synthesis. This is, this is where the instructions, the, um, the DNA and then actually the RNA, this is where the RNA goes and the ribosome reads the RNA and it makes the protein. So that's the goal here is to make the protein. And they're... Um, normal proteins are enzymes, normal proteins and enzymes. Proteins and enzymes are, are really the same thing. Enzymes just have a special job. Like me, I have a special job. Um, and they're all made right there in the ribosome. And there's two types of ribosomes. There are, if you look right here. Oh, we're going the wrong way. Okay, there's attached ribosomes that are going to be attached to the ER. So like right there. 
and then are bound ribosomes. These are attached to the endoplasmic reticulum. These are in eukaryotes only because prokaryotes don't have an ER or endoplasmic reticulum. Um, and then there's free ribosomes, like out here floating in the freeness. So not attached, attached and not attached. They flee freely. All right, I hope that was helpful.